friends, welcome again here in TLC or the Life Continuum. We have a male guest and we are happy to have him on the show. He is my good friend who is into outdoors and his advocacy is really into fitness and you know, he is also into nature. So guys, please help me welcome Ricks aka Laka Ninja. Hi Bess, can you hear me? Woohoo, hi, good evening everyone. Yes, I can Yay. hear you. Yes, I can hear you. We there can you hear you. Hi, guys. Hi, I hope you are doing fine. Life is a continuum. If you agree, let's discuss things that matters to you, the young professionals, your family, to the society, and to the world. This is your host, Ashing. Can you say go. hi to them? Thank you for One having me. One more time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> sure. Sure. Hi, guys. My name is Rich, a.k.a. Lakad Ninja. Uh, first, I want to thank you, my Beshi Ashing, for having yeah. me here. Uh, and I want to greet uh, Advanced Happy Father's Day to all the fathers and all, all forms of fatherhood. Because, you know, Father's Day is more. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For reminding me as well, I have to greet my dad on the day. All right, so how are you today? I know you've been through, I mean, you have a lot of things on your end. Like you've been in a meeting just an hour ago. True, true. Uh, always amazing here. Thank you for asking. Yeah, it's been a productive, uh, I would say not day, but the whole month of June. We, we just want to make sure that the last month before the first half of the year ends will, will definitely count. Uh, mm -hmm. This month is special because, you know, it's, it's the month of freedom. We celebrate Independence Day. And then last yeah. Monday uh, was also World Blood Donors Day. So everything was really, uh, you know, uh, it's been a great month. And yes, uh, earlier we had a meeting. Where we're trying to promote Cebu City Trails, hopefully next year. Wow, wow, wow. That's amazing. And that's really um, the thing that you're really into. And yeah, speaking of that, well, you have this advocacy about um, fitness and nature. You have the Lakad Ninja. So can you tell us more about that one? Yes, uh, Lakad Ninja, it actually stands for Laag Kat Kat Dagan, which is actually my niche. So mm -hmm. to me, you know, Laag, which means traveling, is, you know, it's more of like, learning and then cut mm -hmm. uh cut cut is or when you say in english climbing is more of a ther therapy for me and then dagan is running uh it's more of a religion for me so that's why it's lakad ninja for which is really my you know my advocacy as well because i'm promoting uh fitness history and i think you're in mute Bess. are you in mute oh there can you hear me now yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> All right, so where were you? Hello? Oh, okay. Perfect. Oh, oh okay. I'm going to repeat it. So, uh, Lakad, actually, the, the reason why it's called Lakad Ninja is the Lakad stands for uh, my niche. Wow, that's really, really great. I'm also interested about that one. But uh, you can you tell us more about like the places that you, that you go, that, that, you, that you visit, and also regarding your YouTube account? Yes, yes. Please support my YouTube channel, guys. Again, it's uh, Lakad Ninja. So um, I started my vlog, it was like two years ago. Mm -hmm. The original plan was Project 81PH. If this is your first time hearing it, uh, Project 81PH is the 81 provinces of the Philippines. So like uh, 38 provinces in Luzon, 16 in the Visayas, 27 in Mindanao. So our goal is to you know discover all the provinces in the Philippines, learn about their culture, and then uh, the crazy year hit uh, as last year in 2020. So right now I'm focusing on my local project, which is Project ABC, and it's the 80 barangays of Cebu City. And you know not everyone knows that there are 80 provinces, um, 80 barangays in Cebu City, and not everyone knows that. Uh, Majority of Cebu City is mountain and rural barangays. All you know is the urban side, but they haven't been yeah. to the to the mountain side. So that's what I'm promoting in, in my channel. Wow, that's really cool. I really didn't know that there are 80, 80 barangays. 
So um yes there is. <laughs> okay, now actually uh of course before we've been trying to uh, you've been inviting me on one of your hiking and your log and cut cut thing. But it's a sad thing I wasn't really able to like get into the place in the right time because I was working. Um I I was That's really right. hoping. <laughs> I really, I really hope that soon after the pandemic, uh, I can join you guys. Pohon, pohon. Looking forward. <laughs> yes, pohon, pohon. Well, about your uh, niche, about the the Lakad Ninja. So, can you tell us a bit of you know what are those benefits of hiking? All those things that you do. Oh, there's actually a lot, but I'm just gonna sum it up with my favorite phrase, Lakad Ninja phrase. What's that? Uh, the view at the peak is therapeutic. Again, oh. the view at the peak is therapeutic. So, yeah, it's not only more more about physical, but it's more about you know uh, mental, emotional, and spirit, uh, especially spiritual. Now, you know, hiking and running to me is somewhat like a form of uh, praise and worship. Now, when you go to the certain places, and then you really appreciate you know God's creation and, and architecture. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, wow! That's really great. So, can you tell us more? Uh, uh, can you tell, give us some of the places that you can recommend within Cebu? Oh, there's actually a lot. Five or top three. Do, oh, top five. Uh, you can do. You can do Busay. Uh, mm-hmm. You can do Tisa. I'm referring to the the, the barangays, right? The barangay names. Uh, okay. There's also one in Budlaan. Uh, there's Silrao and somewhere in Malubu. So these are, you Malubok. know, uh, top destinations for, for beginners. Oh, I see. So have you been to like Mount Naupa, um, Osmania Peak? Yes, that's in Naga. Mount Naupa is in Naga. It's in Barangay Kogun, uh, city of Naga. And then Osmania Peak is the highest peak in the whole Cebu province, which is in Badian. But oh, it's easy I... to go if you, you come from municipality of Dalaga. I see. I see. Okay. So, what are those? Uh, me- what What's your message for those people who are, like, uh, they really want to try hiking? Preparatory things that they need to do. Oh, good question. Um, I would suggest that they check LNP principle. There are seven okay. LNP principle that leave no trace. Uh, principle. Uh, oh, that's nice. So one of it is, you know, you have to plan ahead, and then you know, uh, it's it's more about outdoor ethics. Like you have to be responsible outdoors, not only for yourself, but you know, uh, the people around you and, and Mother Nature. So it just discusses there. Like uh, again, number one principle is you have to plan ahead, mm-hmm. and then some of it would tell you that you have to respect wildlife, um, like not bringing trash, things like that. The rest, I leave it to you as an assignment. <laughs> Oi, that's nice. Our first time we have an assignment here, so thank you. <laughs> right, right. I'll get back with you soon. <laughs> well, okay. So, you know what? One thing I also appreciate, hiking and, you know, all these um, top destinations here in Cebu. First is I get to know a lot of people, like let's say the tour guides or even the fellow co-hikers, even though they are strangers, you get to share with them like some of, you know, small things in, in hiking, let's say um, the food or the fire yeah. or let's say the gas, like those small things that only Filipino people can can do with, it, with each other. And even like um, other stuff, like there are a lot of things for me, it's magical because you, you get into a very amazing place and at the same time, you enjoy the company of the people around you. I agree, I agree. You know, in hiking, you learn a lot. You know what, Vesh? I look at, I look at people like books because they have, like they have a lot of stories to tell that you cannot yes. see in the library. Yeah. 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 Amazing ideas. They have, yeah, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And it's so, I really like your message earlier, like, well, what's the like a ninja motto again? Oh no, one of my favorite quote and quote by like a ninja, uh, the view at uh, the view in the at the peak is therapeutic. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, that one. So it's very therapeutic because at first you have to go through the hardship, like all the trails, because you don't know what's what's in the journey, right? Before you get into the peak, and it's really amazing. You also. There are a lot of unexpected things that could happen along the way, and you also enjoy that journey with your friends or with your loved ones, right? 
Right. Three things, Besh. It's the journey, it's the destination, and most importantly, the people around you. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I can do the same thing again. So, okay, speaking of um, pandemic earlier, because I know we know that there are a lot of changes right now. And so, what's yeah. the effect of pandemic with your passion? Oh, yeah. Um, I would say the pandemic made us realize that, you know, we are, as human as we are, we are vulnerable to sickness. Mm -hmm. So it makes you think that you really have to, you know, take good care of your health. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything is temporary. And then, yeah, there's a lot of, I would say, not really uh, cancellation of my plans, but, you know, a redirection. Because 2020 supposedly was for my second event. Uh, I uh -huh. organized uh, an event in our municipality back in November 2019. So part mm -hmm. two should be 2020, but you know, if, if that moves. So hopefully next year, 20, 2022, when everything is, you know, slowly going back to normal. Oh, yes, best. We will pray for that one because that's really amazing. And I also look forward to that event. Do you have any tips for all the aspiring hikers out there? Sure. So aside from the most very basic, like the please guys check the uh, seven LNT principle, leave no trace uh, as beginners. And then uh, we have to be responsible, you know, uh, people outdoors. And then lastly, you really have to respect the mountain. That's my, my, my the top three tips. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I just remember because um, there is one instant that I tried to climb like Mount Lanaya alone <laughs> last oh, 2019. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Really, really? That's nice. Yes, so yes. I tried to go there <laughs> alone, but I wasn't able to get into the pic because Whoa. it was already late in the afternoon and I, it was only me and the tour guide. So what are your advice to those who want to go solo? Oh, Maybe? that's good. So yeah, sometimes we don't want to be with company. We just want to be with ourselves. Uh, for that case, yeah, uh, LNP still applies. You have to plan ahead. Uh, you can, you need right now, you know, uh, because of the new normal, you mm -hmm. have to coordinate with the uh, LGU, for the yeah. local government unit. You really have to reach out to their, you know, tourism office. They can give you advices and tips that you need to be done when you visit those, you know, uh, places alone. Mm -hmm. Um, do you know any community or group that you, that we can join or uh, all those aspiring hikers? Yes, uh, you can check uh, CCC, Cebu uh, Climbers Community. There you go. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah, it's really, really good for uh, beginners because mm -hmm. they're more, they're not, yeah, they're into activities, but they're also into projects like, you know, trainings. So some will just, you know, uh, conduct like day hikes, camping, but they're not really into, you know, which is what we really needed, like, you know, projects, up trainings. So, yeah, go to their page, guys. Uh, it's CCC or Cebu Climbers Community. Okay, I'll take note of that one. I'll add that information on the description of our, um, of this episode. So, uh, I right. think... <laughs> I think that's that's really a good message and information for all those who want to do hiking, start their physical activities. So um, my next question for you, it's really interesting because it's where we first met each other. So um, <laughs> can you tell us about the Toastmasters Club? Because last 2019, you are one of the officers, right? Yes, that's true. <laughs> In my first year, uh, Sergeant at Arms, you know, but we always oh. start small until we go big, right? Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Out to my friend, uh, Kirby, Kirby Pacanya. Uh, he was my office mate, and then I've, I've heard Toastmasters before numerous times, and then it was the only time that you know I, I attended their meeting because Kirby was also an, an officer, a member, and then we joined oh. the mid Midtown uh, Toastmasters Club. Uh, shout mm -hmm. out to my club, so there I attended their first meeting and then that's it the next the next meeting I'm, I'm already a member so toastmaster guys they actually you know uh enhance your communication skills not only that but you know 
um, your leadership skills. Yes, yes, that's really cool. And you know what? Toastmasters is actually um, worldwide, right? That's right. See, okay, now I really want to know what got you into Toastmasters. Like, where did you first hear about them? Uh, I just saw them online. Like when you hmm? type about leadership, yeah, <laughs> when you type about leadership and communication, I think they're one of the top few searches. And then oh. at that time, uh, best, you know. Uh, I'm more of a physically fit person because I've been, you know, I've been doing running, I've been doing yeah. trail running, ultra mm-hmm. marathon, things like that. And, you know, for me, if you, I don't want to stop, you know, learning. I, I want to, to, to have a balanced, you know, lifestyle, not only yeah. physical, but also you have to feed your mind, right? You have to feed your exactly. mind, your, your spirit, and your emotions. So, yeah, that's how I bump with, you know, Toastmasters. It's really true, and I, I I I can relate to you when you said that you want to keep learning because that's how I also think about myself. I want to continue learning even until I reach the age of fifty. <laughs> so true, my true. never ever stop learning. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And uh, my question to you: What does it? How I mean, how Toastmasters Club shaped you to become who you are today? Oh, you know what? It really helped me in a lot of aspects aside from, you know, your network uh, uh-huh. going big. You have yeah. a lot of, you know, new friends and then contacts. Mm-hmm. It helped me, you know, with my uh, organizing my first ever event, like how mm-hmm. you reach out and communicate to the government officials, yep. you know, to the governing bodies. Yeah, mm-hmm. it made me like an effective, you know, communicator. That hey, this is what we want to do. This is this is our goal of because it was like an echo. It's actually if not the first in Cebu, it's actually the first in the whole Philippines or in the whole world. Because it's like a it's an echo run with a twist. Not only that the participants are just uh, like you know plainly running, but at the same time they did a tree planting and plugging. When you say plugging, it's like running and then collecting trash at the same mm-hmm. time. Wow, wow, wow. That is amazing. And yeah, one thing, because I've been attending Toastmasters Club way back 2019 for, I think, three or four times already. And one thing I really appreciate Toastmasters Club is that they always welcome everybody, even though those who are members from different countries. So it's so yeah, uh, very well. accommodating. Yeah, I, the warm welcome, the smile of all the people, all the members. You really don't feel that you are left out or that you are just a new a new body in the sure. group. Because even though that there are, you know, a very uh, big range of age in the room. Like there are students, there are even like fresh graduates, there are um, people who are who are working for a very long time. But you don't feel those difference in the room exactly totally agree yeah and you know what guys one thing that i really love there 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 is food after the the, the club meeting <laughs> <laughs> yes yes and there's even I, I even tried you know doing club hopping <laughs> oh and you tried that one. one pub that they serve lechon yeah for um, hey. <laughs> yes yes it's sibuto's master's club shout out to you guys <laughs> Yay, shout out to Cebuto's Masters Club. That's really, really cool. And there is even one instance that I joined the, the session one night. And then I, I can't um, imagine that we, at the same room, we have our general manager. And that was like, oh my gosh, he's in the room. But that's really a very cool experience that even <laughs> him, yeah, himself, like he was also trying to learn something new out from the from the people around the room exactly i mean there are great people you know in a certain room you share you know great ideas and then you help each other you know learn because you know part Mm -hmm. that's one good thing about you know toastmasters meeting is that you learn something new and at the same time there's a part there that you will be evaluated right and they will yeah that's that's actually the heart of the meeting the evaluation part where they they give you tips on how to you know how to be better, how to do it next time. And then these are these people are like like big times. Like there are lawyers, accountants, yeah. business, business owners, right? So Yes, yeah. yes. That's really cool. And can you tell us how the Toastmaster meeting works? Like 
um, all the members, how the flow, and even the timer, the, the light timer. Is it the same thing? Right, right. So, yeah, it's, it's the same. So, we have, you know, timer because there are certain speeches that, you know, you need to finish in a certain minute, like six minutes prepared speech. Of course, uh, it starts with, you know, a prayer, a uh, flag ceremony, mm -hmm. uh, welcome address to the leader, you know, uh, mm -hmm. announcing your guests, and then we have prepared speeches. We also have the most favorite part, the table topics, guys. Because table topics is like, they're going to read a quote. And then you have to expound and explain what yeah. you think about it. Yeah, I <laughs> right? really love so that part. <laughs> yeah, we have prepared speeches, we have word of the night, and then all Toastmasters meeting, you know, before it ends, we have, you know, uh, we also have icebreakers, and then we have the evaluation. Again, that's the heart of the meeting. And then closing remarks. So just to give you a, a, a idea, guys. And then when pandemic started, uh, so we, we, we don't have any uh, physical meetings anymore. So we have, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just online uh, meetings. So you can always join this. Uh, join Midtown <laughs> Mid Toastmasters Bike <laughs> Club. Shout out to Midtown Toastmasters Club. Hi. Um, yeah, actually, club. <laughs> yeah, actually, I tried once. You invited me on your online meeting, but I was too bad. I wasn't able to like finish the entire, the entire session, the entire meeting. Because I don't know what happened. I guess I was having internet issues uh, during that that day. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, people there are very understandable and you know, open minded. They would really understand as long as yeah. you, know, uh, you learn something. I mean, that's that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I really love all the members of the Toastmasters Club. And one thing I can remember because you have this type of you know the program, and in the back of the paper there are a bit of information on that so um can you tell us a bit more about i think it was smart gmp like like how you should deliver the message like there is this type of like sequence i'm yeah, not sure I forgot because i missed i missed the hardbound papers during meetings so yeah the back <laughs> of the paper like there's an information yeah there's mm -hmm. an information about the club the officers like when do we usually meet, meet? and then there's also like uh, tips there on how to answer table topics. Yeah. Uh, question. So yeah, that was really answer. a good yeah, one. There's, there's a pattern. I I, I even forgot. <laughs> yeah, so I, I love the pattern. To follow. Yeah, sadly we forgot the pattern, guys. I will try and include that one on the description if we can still remember. We, I, I'll try to research yes, that. Yes, I'll, I'll send it to you. I, I still have copies, but I'm upstairs, so I can find it. <laughs> yay! <laughs> yay! Too. All right. Um, I'll wait for that. Uh -huh. Um, okay, so I think um, another question, or I really want to know what's in it for all the non club members if they want to join the Toastmasters Club, aside from the things that you already mentioned earlier. Uh, that's it. I mean, unlimited learnings. I mean, the learning there in the Toastmaster meetings, guys, you cannot like learn it anywhere. Like the data is there, the information that they share, you know. It's, you know, true to life experience and then uh, the company, of course. And yeah. As what the founder said, you know, we learn best in the moments of, you know, enjoyment. If we have fun, you know, learning is, is way better. Oh, I really love I can still remember the happy faces of everyone and even the president of the Toastmasters Club, of your club. And, uh, you know, they already became like a family and I really, really... Um, felt and I really love how you know the warm feeling that you can that you can feel whenever you see those people and they even like celebrate each other's birthday like they always catch up with each other they know what are the, the shenanigans of each other like it's really a good community for me sure it's like it's you know it's one way to break the ice of your weekly routine that yeah. you, know, you can relax you can have fun yeah that's really what I miss about those master meetings, uh, specifically the physical one. But we're actually slowly, you know, uh, doing that right now. Hopefully, you know, you can join one of these days. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Um, uh, can you just share us first what are the, or do you know how many clubs are there right now in Cebu? There's actually a lot. <laughs> a lot. I don't remember the exact <laughs> number anymore. But the barangays, I know, it's 18 barangays. But, but those are actually, <laughs> actually a lot. They even okay. divide into districts and division. <laughs> I see. Much. 
I see. Okay. Oh, yeah, can you tell them regarding the membership of the Toastmasters Club? Oh, Toastmasters Club, uh, you just have to pay like a certain amount, like 2500 I'm not sure how much that is in dollars. And then it's like worth of six months of membership. Mm-hmm. And then that's already unlimited learning, guys. I mean, that's really, really a small amount to pay with all the learnings that you will gain. And then, you know, make you a better speaker and, uh, and a leader moving forward. It's not only, you know, professionally, but like, like it's like a holistic approach. And it's like the whole, the, the whole well-being. Like, it, and you can also apply that in life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think those four um, days that I've been attending the Toastmasters Masters Club, I think it somehow it also impacted me in a way that, you know, how I started TLC, how I... Like I talk to my colleagues right now, and even how I talk to you right now, it's a long-term investment for 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 yourself. True, true. It's a process, and again, guys, never ever stop learning. Exactly. Wow, wow. We've been talking like we've been talking two major topics about your lack at ninja and the Toastmasters Club. So. I think um, I want to ask you, what's your message for everyone out there who is listening right now about their passions, about the things that they should um, consider regarding their hiking tricks or, you know, how they should learn new things aside from Toastmasters Club? Oh, aside from never, ever stop learning, guys. I mean, expose yourself to, you know, successful people. You know, they can always share some some gems about life. And then I uh, wish everyone... Oh, by the way, I forgot. It's Jose yes. Rizal's birthday today. today? Oh, uh, happy Ching. birthday. So, yeah, it's June June 19, our national, Philippine national hero. Happy birthday, Jose Rizal. In happy heaven. birthday, Jose Rizal. Uh, give us wisdom. Yes, <laughs> please. Wisdom. You know, yes, mindset. please. Yeah. Speaking of Jose mindset, Rizal, can you, remem- <laughs> uh, can you remember? Uh, can you can you remember a single line from his book, The No Limit Tangere and the El Filibusterismo? I can't remember a single thing. I think it's about if. Just pain. Oh, I, hindi pala. How they how they translate this to English? Yung, what? Which one? I forgot. Well, okay, I forgot. try try. I, I really um, can't remember a single line. Ang hindi marunong magmahal sa sariling wika ay mas mabaho sa, sa something. Sa, Ansang is isda. That, like, yes. Uh, is that really from the book or is that a poem or a song? I'm not really sure. I'm really sorry as well. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I, I also a, think so. Yeah. I'm more of a no hate is uh, just love because you know, I'm also promoting the Philippines and you know, uh-huh. love of country. Uh, I'm more of an Andres Bonifacio fan, yeah. Because you know what, the reason wow. why I started that blog, Ashing, is you know, I, I I have this I have this you know mantra that you know people will never ever care unless they're aware. So I believe that if we want to change, you know, how the country, uh, you know, operates, is we should always start from the smallest unit, which is the barangay. That's what I believe, you know. Exactly. Um, it, it's funny because you know. Oh, I don't want to, be, to sound political, guys, huh? but you know, mm-hmm, uh, I mm-hmm. think we need to love our country more. Yeah, we should start with that, guys. We should love our country more. Uh, very basic, I mean, the, the place that you live in, like the barangay that you live in, we should know the basics. That's how I started, actually, uh, yeah. Shane. When I started to, you know, learn about the background of my barangay, and then I realized, you know, what, what can I do with a barangay, things like that. So that's why I started donating blood. Like any small things that you can do for your barangay, and you know, it uh, if we can change the barangay, then it will, you know, it's like a domino effect until it goes to the to the highest level. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what? I really love where this conversation is going because speaking of loving your own country, um, it always resonates to me. Like every every club that I will um, attend to, or if any like ministry or any small groups, I always recommend to like give back to the community. Let's say um feeding program or a coastal cleanup because the satisfaction that you will get from those um, kinds of activities is really amazing. It really can um, give you any 
like words to explain, but the the joy and like how it humbles you that you were able to help those um local people and not just the local people, but even your own country. That's very true. I would say you know the feeling is you know priceless. Machine. So that's what I'm doing with my vlog. So at least this is my little contribution to to the community. So I'll start with the barangay. Once I'm done with the project ATBC, which is the AT Barangay Susubu City, my next project will be Project 53 CP. That's the 53 cities and municipalities of Cebu Province. So, you know, I'll start with why is it called Allegria? How many barangays? Mm -hmm. What are the things mm -hmm. you need to know about this municipality? And then once I'm done, then my ultimate ultimate goal in my project is Project 81 PH, the 81 provinces in the Philippines. So I, I, I guess that's how we should start, you know, uh, Loving back our country uh, is by you know, being aware, I mean, by its roots, and you know the rest will follow. Yeah, that's amazing. But you know what? Thinking about the eighty-one project, I think it will take you years, Bess. It'll take you years yes, to yes, do my that. Friend, my friend, yeah, it took him like three years, four years to complete it. Wow! But it was really, it was really worth it. Yes. Wow! 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 And you are willing to do that, like to to. To take four years? Yes, uh, that's wow. what we say. You know, uh, we have to be maging uh, tourist ka sa sarili mong basa. You have to be a tourist of uh -huh. your own country first before you know going to other countries. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully my you know my vlog blossoms that you know I have sponsors and it can yeah. finance me <laughs> in the future in my in my projects. Yeah, I really the, love that. Yeah, hopefully we will. I will. We will try and promote your vlog as well, guys. Please do support Like a Ninja. It's so nice. The advocacy is Yay. really nice. Yes, oh. guys. So please like, share, and, and subscribe. Then, uh, subscribe to my channel and then never skip ads because <laughs> we get the you know, you get the dollar sign and the no skipping of the ad. Mmm, that's nice. That's a pretty good tip, ha. Huh? All right then. So, Rex, thank you so much for your time, and please do. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, I really, really appreciate that you've uh, you dedicated um, an hour of your time because we've been trying to uh, test earlier, and it's been an yeah, hour. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I think so. It's it's been an hour. It's already eight thirteen, and and yeah, I, were you able to take your dinner? Uh, Did, uh not yet. We're act I'm actually doing fasting, so. My next oh. meal will be tomorrow. And yeah, Ashley, thank you so much for having me here. Uh, I really had fun. <laughs> yeah, same here. I, I learned a lot of new things, especially about the barangays and the municipios. That's really an interesting thing. Yeah, there are all those things. That's really, really amazing. So, Besh, thank you for your time. Guys, this is Trix, a.k.a. Lakad Ninja. So Please do support his vlog and his advocacy. You can... Yeah, support, yes, but by not skipping the, the advertising. <laughs> yeah, the ads. Please do support him. And thank you for listening here in this another it, yeah. episode. Yes, please do share his vlogs. Thank you. Do you have a last message though? And yeah, your social media accounts. Best, you can share so that they can follow you. Oh, yes, guys. So uh, Facebook, it's Takad Ninja. So it's L-A-K-A-D and then Ninja. Uh, same with YouTube and then Instagram is Lakad underscore Ninja. Thank you so much, guys, in advance and cheers to all of you. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time. This is your host, Ashing. Bye. Best, thank you. Sure, Bash. Bye. Bye bye.